Hi everyone, how is everybody? Okay, I hope. Yeah, today this is a, a visitor that we have, and uh, yeah, this is a this is absolute star. Is this is this one? I tell you, she really is. How is everybody? Yes, um, some news has come out about Marks and Spencer. Yeah, the it looks like Marks and Spencer has had a spanner thrown in the works. As they were planning to uh, leave the town centre, and you know, um, uh, going to this new retail park. Well, a certain authority has turned round and basically said, <coughs> "We don't want that there." Because the reason why it's they've accurate well it's Heimburn actually. Heimburn has basically gone to gone to, gone to uh, Blackburn with Darwin and lodged a uh, objection to be a uh, well. You know, they've put an objection in of m s moving from the town centre because this uh, the t- partic- particular reason why is that that Heimburn Borough Council has basically turned round and said said. Besides this objection, is that it could basically um, jeopardise their regeneration of the towns of their town centre because they're starting, they're bringing back the uh, boot fair, mar- well the the market, the outside ones. While they do the inside, redevelop the inside of the of the mar- internal market, and I think this is the reason why they've put that objection in, due to the numbers of people that go to Accrington or hi- any of the Heimburn markets. So this is I this is what I really do think that the reason why they put the obje- objection in. Plus, I don't know if Accrington has a has a March and Spencer's, but uh, well, if they don't, well, it, Blackburn will be the nearest one. So we'll just have to wait and see how that goes because um they could always Marks and Spencers could always appeal but uh it would be uh how can I put this it would be a good thing that Heimburn has actually turned round and said something because to be truthful, that building in Blackburn Town Centre is an absolutely massive building to fill. And to be truthful, would you be able to get a retailer to take it because of the size of it? And the other thing is, with the new B&M store opening 
directly across, how much trade is that going to take away from Marks and Spencer's across? Well, we'll just have We'll just have to see what happens. Because it's her early days with that. It's only been open a few weeks now. How is it to affecting Marks and Spencer's trade? But uh, a lot of people go to Marks and Spencer's to get some of the, uh, shall we say, upper market food, shall we say. And, uh, yeah. But the other thing that um, would be a thing that bid Blackburn, right? They're basically turning around... I, th- I hope that if anyone from bid Blackburn is uh, listening to this, um, it would be uh, a good thing to for have Marks and Spencer's stay where it is but if they did decide to move somewhere else well that would be a big blow to the town centre but then again would um, the trade go to some somewhere else you know maybe Morrison's but then the other thing what could happen is some of the trade could go end up going to uh, Tesco's on Accrington Road because they're building a new uh, drive through there. You know, it'll t- take more uh, traffic to those areas. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Does Marks and Spencer stay or does it go? As the storm goes. So, yeah. We'll just have to wait and see. And, uh, yeah. And I just hope uh, it's a good... Well be a good thing for it to stay there um, like yesterday we went out and we did the um, shopping at B&M and uh, yeah she's having a bit of a curl up now yeah so we'll just basically in a minute I'm just going to take Take the camera off her. She's just, she's just kind of curled up a little bit there. So, yeah, she's got comfy. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. And uh, yeah, also, um, what else was there? Yeah. Planning has just gone in for the uh, St. Chad's and uh, that I, I think that is going to go ahead uh, as soon as and uh, we'll see what happens there. I don't know why Lancashire Evening Telegraph or, um, or how can I put this, Co- covering that, because that that area is basically is the Blackpool Gazette. Uh, can anybody tell me, are these, are these publications one group or something? Because uh, it's sometimes I'm finding, um, say, Bolton News... In in a Blackburn paper, you know, on the on their site, and yeah. So there is also a rumor. It's it's rumor has it at the moment 
that Andy Burnham is um, looking at um, extending the Metrolink to the Bolton area. How they're going to get it there, I don't. I haven't got the foggiest. Um, one one way of doing it would be to bring it. Oh, I don't know. I've I, I've no idea how they would do it, but uh, that's what Andy Burnham was uh, talking about. He was uh, talking about bringing it into Bolton. Yeah. I wonder how Boltoners would uh, feel about that. Here we go. And, yeah, that would be quite a feat to do. Um, I haven't been in Bolton for quite some time. I'm going to have to pay it a visit and, uh, you know, get things uh, sorted for that. Yes, the bus videos will be coming back. Uh, every time I say that, you know, and uh, we'll see what uh, happens. Yeah. So I'm going to disappear now and uh, I'll see you in the next one.